deserve to burn. I'm done talking to lapdogs. <laughs> I open this door. Yo, Safira. Hello and welcome, amazing people. Salaviathan here, and we are back with another reaction today, continuing up Dragon Age Absolution. We're on episode five. <laughs> Where we last left off, you know, we were dealing with like the um, reunion of Amacene and Miriam, and then we learned a little bit more about what had happened during that um, during that situation. It turns out that Amacene was going to be taking in like his powers, I guess you can say, as a magister, and I don't think he was able to take it all in so his mother basically transferred some of the pain to Miriam's brother Neb and then her brother ended up dying right so Miriam hates Amacene and her and his family and it seemed as though like Amacene was innocent in it all but as we slowly got through it a little bit more we can we started to see like the evil side of him and the bit of the dictator type of side of him you know she kind of fought him like within her mind and stuff and they had a, a little bit of a battle until she realized that Sophia is still alive so they're gonna go try and save Safira. so it's time for a heist turned into a prison break but we're not gonna waste any time let's get started with this one don't forget to like share and subscribe guys turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next and make sure you guys drop down some more recommendations on some other shows you'd like to see cartoons uh, live action um, anime whatever <laughs> I I'm all for it but let's get started with Dragon Age Absolution Episode 5, An Altar of Fire. Let's go. I'm so sorry about this, but I am fixing things now. Miriam is coming back with the Circulum. Once you're back too, and the truth all comes out, I will make us a family again. I don't know how he's like get, like reanimating this guy. Like his eyes are completely dead. It's like a walking corpse. Property, but my twin brother Neb was the only one who ever gave a damn about me. That bitch put a demon inside him. I killed my brother. It was too much. God, and this is the only person Your she ever loved to too. Like, can you imagine how that must feel? Her brother and her true love get captured and dead. How can you go on like that? How? I'm not running anymore. Hera saved me, and now I'm going to save her. I have a plan. But we got the artifact, and Hera, well, she already said leave her behind. Get the artifact to Kirkwall. Kirkwall? But Fairbanks said we were going to Orlais. Fairbanks was a liar and a traitor. He tried to steal the circulum. What? Look, whatever happened, we all risked our lives for each other. So I have to believe that we're at least trying to be decent people. Anyone who wants to help me has earned my trust and forgiveness and gratitude and whatever they're looking for. Anyone who wants the circulum can take it and go. Oh, she's giving them a hard choice here. Regardless, I'm gonna go save Hera. I, uh... Won't say I'm not scared. Well, of course, Kunin was gonna come on board. Kunin's a true homie, <laughs> a real one. Right thing to do. So I'm definitely gonna help you anyway. You have always been there for me, Miriam. I just wanted to hear what your plan was, so I can laugh at it and stuff. Okay. <laughs> the city's on lockdown. Your friends will be rounded up shortly. You'll all be executed for theft. Although it was a pretty good plan, it nearly worked. I'd say it worked fine. You don't have my friends or the artifact. The Circulum Infinitus isn't just a pretty trinket. It's supposed to help people. <laughs> no, really, that artifact can restore the dead. No, it can't, man. The Circulum is something evil, I think. Thousands of Tevinters, you mean. <laughs> but you're Tevinter. How do you... Your necklace. There's a northern family with that crest. So then help me. That artifact can do so much good for people like us. I am nothing like you. I know exactly what kind of place this is. My family was the cream of Tevinter once. Wealthy, 
influential until we tried I to knew it. I knew it. She has some high class in Defender before. She might have been like a royal. The Venatori found us. The Venatori are traitors and monsters. <laughs> it's hard to believe that when there are Venatori inside every corner of the Imperium. No one stops them. No one stands up to them. And since they are the self-proclaimed protectors of Deventer, they decided to make us an example. They burned my father on our front lawn as a warning. They just burned her dad to like a crisp, like nothing is ash, just ash. I hate Deventer. The good, the bad, you all deserve to burn. I'm done talking to lapdogs. <laughs> I open this door. Yo, Safira. You should know your little dog. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was gonna do that to her. Stupid enough to think you could steal from me. Had it, I knew he was gonna do that I'm shit. A violent man. You are a very but violent man, yo. You, you a sneaky amazon. of your life are going to be challenging. I have no pity for thieves. Your artifact's already gone, and no amount of torture is- You helped her escape! All I want to know is why. Because I love her, and she loves me. <laughs> Man, you don't know anything about that shit, Amacene. You think- you think Miriam loves you? You think you love Miriam? Miriam's on her way back as we speak, with the Circulum. And once she gets here, I'm going to march you up onto the gallows and pull the lever myself. Miriam would never forgive you. Sir, the slave woman's outside the gates. She's only back for revenge. Neb, bring our sister and the circulum to me. Only if she doesn't cooperate. Oh no! This guy literally is gonna make his, his zombie corpse attack his own sister? It's the Circulum. It's changed him somehow. I'm worried. I hope I'm not the only one. How is she talking to Neb though? Like, I, I assume Neb doesn't even really understand what's going on. He's like a corpse, man. <laughs> Um, duck, please. Yo, I guarantee Miriam can take out all these guards on her own. You all with me. Yo, she's she's such a she's such a she's such a skilled fighter. Yeah, I knew she could take on all these guards on her own. <laughs> oh man! Oh, her versus Neb. Oh, this is gonna be insane. What is she doing out there? Rescuing me. All I asked was for the circulum, and she's. <laughs> you think she trusts you? Really? Believe me. Come on. No how hopeless her mission may be, the circulum is somewhere you oh will never God, find. Oh my God, man! Main character syndrome right here. This guy thinking he's actually the hero, but in reality, he's the villain. You think she trusts you? Arrest the dwarf. I'll deal with your legion. Holy! Oh, Yo, Tasio versus Roland. Let's see this. Let's see this. So they kept saying that there was like a demon in Neb. Like there's an actual demon inside him right now that's controlling him. That this isn't Neb. You're 
not him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Come on. Can you point me toward the throne room? Hey, look at you making good choices. Oh man. I hope those elves can escape. Seriously. <laughs> Ooh. You're holding it wrong. <laughs> All right, okay, I knew it had to be a 2v1, yo. Tazi is too strong for them to take on their own. Yo, there's no way these guys can take out Tasia. There's no way. I love how she fights. Throw down your weapon and give me some answers. Who is your employer? What does the Circulum do that makes it such a threat to Tevinter? And... Where's the Canari? I wonder what Quinian's huh? doing here. At the, in the throne room. Oh shit. Oh, she caused a bigger mess than I thought, though. You got longer legs. Go, go! Bastard! I'm not taking you anywhere! Well, you should have thought of that before you bragged you knew where the circulum was. Now you get to prove it. Oh, no, man. Ah, oh, no. This guy's salty as hell. <laughs> he got so mad that she, she talked shit to him like that. Yo, Samir in this episode is like the MVP of this episode. <laughs> I think she's trying to awaken the dragon, maybe. Yep, I knew it! I knew it! They're trying to cause some chaos here! <laughs> Let's go, Quidian! Oh, man. I, I was I was kind of disappointed when I thought the dragon went back to sleep and it wasn't going to play a role. But now I'm glad that it's going to play a role. Miriam, you have to do it. You have to do it. I'm sorry. You have to. Good. That was hard for her to do, man. But if Amacene got his way... Yeah, there was a definite freaking demon in his body. Oh, man. It's going full circle, man. She gets to save that little girl now that she betrayed. us now go god man she feels so much like a connection to that kid because it just reminds her of her own circumstances oh that was a cool shot that was a cool shot oh my god is she gonna fight the dragon is she gonna fight the dragon Ooh. Solid, solid episode heading into the finale here, which was really good. Good build up, guys. Great build up. Quick recap there. Um, so we were coming off of the whole um, trying to rescue Hera thing. So we saw we saw a little bit about what was going on with the Neb. Um, it seemed as though that like Amazine put like some kind of demon inside him to make him reanimated. So that's why he was able to move. I didn't really get that the whole time, but it was it was pretty good because it made a little bit of sense. They answered some of those questions. It was great to see that um, that uh, Miriam gave them a choice and be like, hey, you guys are decent people. 
Either you, can you help me? I would be greatly appreciated. But if you guys want to just take the circulum and go, I, I'll respect that too. But they ended up all coming in and helping her. So this little plan that they had with like Miriam kind of coming in through the front door and everybody else distracting was pretty good too. Uh, Quidian on a mission to awaken the dragon. I'm glad, you know, because I thought the dragon w went back to sleep and wasn't going to play a part. But now it looks like it's going to actually play a part into the season finale. Miriam having to fight her brother's uh, dead body and corpse was hard to see, especially for her. She couldn't do it. But in the end, you know, um, that tough battle ended up with her cutting his head off and the demon escaping. We learned a little bit more about Hera and her ties to the to Vinter. It looked as though some, some people called the Venatari, I believe that's what they call them we're like we're like a ruling class into Vinter who killed her father I'm thinking here we're gonna be just ending the whole Amazine story and everything and trying to basically take the circulum to the to the um to the contact I guess but definitely excited to jump into this finale for the series uh Dragon Absolution has been a nice ride I really hope we get a season two but we'll see we'll see anyway I will see you guys around take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day Bye-bye.